Hey guys, Hierarchy GFX here. So, today I've got a tutorial for you. Um, I hope that the mic quality is a lot better because I've been working with this mic trying to get it to work properly. But, uh, anywho, uh, this is a tutorial on the tool that I used in my, uh, I think one of my most popular speed arts as of right now. Um, one angry splash, the one with the tiger. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description and at the end of the video. Um, but anyway, the tool that I used in there was uh, a tool that I actually really, really enjoy using. It's it's very, uh, it's a very. I, I guess you could say it's really easy to manipulate things with. Uh, in my opinion, it's it's easier to manipulate things with it rather than with uh, warp, uh, the warp tool in the edit section. So first, um, there's multiple things that you can use this on, any layer really, but I'm going to use an image. So um, actually, rather, rather than an image, uh, what I could do is go into my brushes. I guess I'll find a brush. You guys can do do this with an image, do it with a brush. Um, really, it doesn't matter. Um, just as long as it's, you know, like a shape or something. Okay, so like, let's say this, this shape right here, this graffiti shape spray. Um, one thing you can do with this is you're going to go to edit. And then here you go. The tool that everybody wanted to know what it was is called Puppet Warp. Um, like I said before, it's really, really versatile. Um, definitely one of my most used tools. And when you do that, it's going to bring up this kind of grid. Um, it's a point system. So when you move, when you, the second that you create a point, like right now, you're going to move the entire grid. But then when you add another point on another section to the grid, it's going to morph it and you can move it around like this so if your idea is to only want one point you're gonna have to find an anchor point so let's say right here right in the middle is gonna be my anchor point so I can move it so now I can kinda of spin it around if I wanted to by grabbing the top but I could also grab the top and pull it down like this and grab other sections and pull it in like that and then kinda of morph it around and squeeze it in like that and this is just a quick tutorial to show you guys what this is and uh, it's not really some crazy tutorial it's gonna show you how to do amazing things in Photoshop but if you use this tool the way that I'm I'm using it I guarantee you you'll be able to do a lot of really cool stuff and and as you can see here I can take the 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 mesh that it creates is actually pretty good at determining what's what um, and like putting a mesh around certain things if it's an if it's a whole image and not a vector mask then it's not going to do as good but if it's a vector uh, such as this paintbrush then you're going to have a lot more versatility and utility to it and you can actually right click on certain pins and delete the pin if it's in your way and being annoying but as you can see I can move this around I can do whatever I want and let's say there was something that I wanted to warp this around like I did in my tiger one you can warp it around that like this until you find something you like and don't you don't want to warp it too much because if you do it's gonna look really weird like let's see what this looks like that actually well, it doesn't look well it looks weird but it, I mean it doesn't look like uh, messed up I guess but if you warp something too much like I bet if I warp this one piece right here too much like that see these little when it starts making uh, pointed out edges at the e or starts making like what the fuck starts making these really jagged edges it's probably gonna look weird see how the image is kind of starting to blur out here and it's spreading the image too much over here so it doesn't know where to go so don't over overshoot your warp um, and again this is puppet warp not the warp tool puppet warp the warp tool if you're wondering is this which also creates kind of a mesh that you can kind of mess with like that but uh, as you can see it's not nearly as versatile you can't put pins in this 
really it's, it's not nearly as useful as puppet warp in my opinion but uh yeah that that's it that's my tutorial guys uh i kept it really short really sweet straight to the point puppet warp uh pretty simple tool if you guys have any more questions please don't hesitate to ask i will answer them i promise um if you guys get this video to maybe 30 likes that would be amazing i would really really appreciate it and uh expect more videos in the future and actually as a matter of fact um i plan on releasing a uh layer style pack soon and to show you what the layer styles look like uh i'll give you a slight preview because i love you guys a lot so i named this one caramel yes the candy because it is tasty and bad for you but tasty let's find a better font than that this is just one of them there's multiple ones that I had in there so this is this is caramel now is oops shit damn it I had it perfect there we go so as you can see I kinda made a a layer style that looks actually a lot like uh, I don't know like caramel I guess I don't really know how to explain it but uh, yeah I mean it's just you know it's got the texture of caramel and yeah that's just one of them I have like six or seven of them so if you guys get this video to 30 likes I'll release that and uh, you guys can do with it what you want and I'll probably release some more in the future as well and I'll let you guys know how that goes and uh, my color scheme was just changed. I don't know why that happened. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to fix that. Anyway, uh, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Again, don't forget to get this to 30 likes, and I'll release this for you guys. I'll release this uh, these layer styles. Oh, and another one, actually, another quick preview you can see is I have regal russian but it's not in this font it's in a russian font that i found it's actually pretty cool it's called regal russian and that's another one of them okay so that now you know what you're gonna get so I highly 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 suggest getting this 30 likes that'd be really awesome i'm anyway i'm done i love you guys i'll see you guys later